guys, Logan Battles here, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a four, another four-part trailer reaction. Yes, I've done a, f a few four-part trailer reactions before. The one, one of them was the San Diego Comic-Con trailer, so that was a big one, uh, as well as the one that I did before that one. So this is going to be my third four-part trailer reaction, and the four trailers that I will be reacting to uh, it is uh, the first trailer, uh, the second official trailer for Ralph Breaks the Internet. The second trailer, uh, I think it's going to be for uh, Bumblebee, the new, new official trailer. The third trailer that I will react to is the uh, a Fantastic Beast: The Crimes of Grindelwald final trailer. Um, that will be the third uh, trailer. And the, la and the fourth and final trailer that I will react to is the second official trailer for Creed 2. So those are the four trailer reactions that I will be reacting to in this video, or trailers that I will be reacting to in this four-part trailer reaction video. So I'm going to be starting off this four-part trailer reaction with my reaction to the second official trailer for Ralph Breaks the Internet. So without any further ado, let's get into this. One second, I'm having a time of my life. Stop. The next thing I know, my game is just... Kid! Gone. Hello, hello, let me tell you what it's like. Get away! Sugar Rush is getting unplugged. Oh, no. I'm freaking out hard. <laughs> if I'm not a racer, what am I? Oh, you're my best friend. All we gotta do is find a part to fix your game. Everything goes back to the way it was. But where are we gonna find that? The internet! What? Wanna meet you? They do. Wanna get rich playing video games? Slaughter race. It's wicked dangerous. Oh, yep. Right oh, in the car. Oh, nice kitty. Nice kitty. Wow. Attention to detail is pretty impressive. Well, well, well. Zootopia was a great film. Gal to die. What the what character is she use voice on? Showtime. Let's race. There's no law saying best friends have to have the same dreams. Boy. She sure looks a lot like Al Qaeda, I can tell you that right now. Hmm. This is what's called the dark net. Are you sure this is safe? Just whatever you do, do not look at his little brother. Oh, his little brother? <laughs> what are you doing here? <clears throat> the reason I came to your neck of the face. I mean, there's a face in your neck. I mean, woods. Neck of the woods. <laughs> <laughs> pretty nice tra- uh, pretty good trailer. Um... I, I mean, I, I, although, I will be honest, uh, it's a little bit more, I don't know what, what the word is for it, uh, it didn't left me wondering, or, it's really hard to say, because this trailer is pretty good, it's just that there was something about this trailer that didn't really convince me, or to think of what this movie was going to be, or, in other words, uh, it didn't really, like, made me figure out how the, the film is going to play out. The set of the first official trailer for this film gave me an idea of what the movie is going to be about. This one is more different. Uh, the, uh, the second trailer is more different and more complex. And, and I'm kind of okay with that, but at the same time, I feel like uh, the first official trailer already gave me an idea of what the movie is going to be about. Um, and this one didn't get, uh, didn't, or, 
I wouldn't say give it away too much, but it kind of confuses me as to what this movie is going to be about. Um, so, I don't know. Uh, this, this trailer kind of left me wondering what the movie is going to actually be about. Um, it, this trailer didn't give me a really great understanding as to what the story will play out in the entire film, Ralph Breaks the Internet. The second, the, the first official trailer, like I said, uh, did give me a better idea as to what it's going to be about or be like once the movie comes out. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, I'm, I kind of like the first official trailer better uh, just because it's more understandable and it gave me a better idea as to what this movie is going to be like. Um, and what and and it's more simple and more understandable uh, to know uh, to learn than this trailer was showing me of what it is. But still, in all, uh, this uh, the animated character that Gal Gadot is voicing in this one, she sure looks a hell of a lot like a Gal Gadot. At least uh, to me, she do, uh, she does. Uh, when, when I when I see a character that voices Gal Gadot. Uh, this one, uh, I cannot help but think of Gal Gadot being, or voicing that character, or uh, this character being looking so much like Gal Gadot. Um, I just can't help but think of that, uh, think that way. Uh, but anyway, her character looks cool uh, and looks uh, really beautiful, like Gal Gadot is, and just every uh, the the trailer, while not great in terms of not really great of an. Under uh, not really helping me by much of how this movie is going to be like. Um, but still in all, pretty fine trailer, I will say. The next trailer I will be reacting to is the new official trailer for Bumblebee, the upcoming tr Transformers spinoff of the character, or, or the Autobot Scout, Bumblebee. So, without any further ado, let's get into this, shall we? Ailey Steinfeld looks uh, cute and beautiful. Oh my god. What are you? So you have no idea where he came from? No idea. Well. Here's the deal. People can be terrible about things they don't understand. From now on, the only person you can show yourself around is me. Oh, I'm I'm good. Now I'm good, thanks. <laughs> There's a war raging on our planet. If this criminal isn't found, that war may find its way here. Is there anyone that can help you? You have a family? Oh, who would be? They're calling an army. I've seen firsthand these things really are. Bumblebee. There is only one way to end this war. Wow. You must protect Earth and its people. Take it down! My back me! Man, this movie uh, has so much nostalgia from all the uh, animated, um, you know, animated Transformers uh, series or movies, animate uh, cartoon movies or shows, just based on what, how the Transformers looked and how Cybertron looks, just the way this trailer was showing. <laughs> yep. Don't don't we have an experience uh, something like that happen to us in our lives? <laughs> but anyway, uh, I will say this: uh, this is a pretty good trailer. I uh, it does show a lot, but I wouldn't say it showed everything. 
uh, that this movie was presumably going to sh uh, give us once it comes out a uh, near December uh, is does it comes out before December I feel like it does but anyway um, overall this trailer looks pretty good Haley Steinfeld looks beautiful and cute uh, she's she looks adorable and um, and she does seem like the uh, the right part human partner for Bumblebee and and seem like the right you know right person to help out Bumblebee um, you know something like that <laughs> just basically a story about two different beings helping out each other in situations that could happen to be worse to them um, it will be an interesting thing to see once the movie comes out in theaters. I'm waiting to see how this movie will unfold. Um, and I already mentioned about how this trailer uh, seemed like it's uh, the movie is going to give so going to have so much nostalgia for the fans who are uh, of the original Transformers series or uh, movies. Um, uh, it felt so much like that. Uh, this trailer showing the movie having uh, so much stuff that looks so much like the 1980s cartoon series or movies of the Transformers, um, and just and I'm I'm kind of impressed by that. I didn't think this trailer would do that, um, but it did. So maybe the movie will felt so nostalgic to. The things that happen in the old 1980s show or movies of tra of the Transformers universe, um, and I don't know. I'm impressed. I will say overall, just based on the nostalgia that the trailer is showing of what this movie is going to have, I am impressed by that. So good trailer, I will say. <laughs> I'm now looking forward to it, or I'm already am looking forward to see Bumblebee. Just how it'll play out once it comes out in theaters. Now, the third tra trailer that I will be reacting to is the final trailer for Fantastic Beasts and the Crime, or Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. Uh, this is the final trailer, said Warner Brothers, so we'll just uh, have to check it out uh, and see, or I'll have to check it out and see if it, uh, if it is good. So, let's get into it. Address. What's that? A safe house in Paris. Why would I need a safe house in Paris? Should things at some point go terribly wrong, it's good to have a place to go. You know, for a cup of tea. My brothers, my sisters, the clock is ticking fast. My dream, we who live for truth, for love. The moment has come to take our rightful place mm. in the world where we wizards were free. Join me. Or die. The wizarding and non-wizarding worlds have been at peace for over a century. Grindelwald wants to see that peace destroyed. You want me to hunt him down? To kill him? Dumbledore, why can't you go? I cannot move against Grindelwald. It has to be you. You don't suffer from motion sickness, see? I don't do well on boats. You'll be fine. <laughs> Do you know why I admire you, Nick? You do not seek power. You simply ask, is the thing right? The time's coming when you're gonna have to pick a side. No, I don't do sides. What are you gonna do? I think it's something. Mute, you never met a monster you couldn't love. Let's take him. That's 
her brother? I think that might have been the best moment of my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, hmm. Uh, the, uh, the ending is pretty, is, is a funny part. The, the funniest part of the entire trailer, I will say. Uh, and also the best part in the entire trailer. But, honestly, the trailer is kind of, I felt, this trailer made me feel lukewarm about it. Uh, I didn't, I don't in particular, in particularly find it to be as impressive as the first few trailer, first couple of trailers did, at least for me. The teaser trailer I thought was pretty cool. And the second, well, the official trailer came out, and it was very, very good. Uh, that trailer got me really excited to see Fantastic Beasts, uh, Crimes of Grindelwald. Um, but then this trailer felt a little lukewarm, um, uh, felt a little bit lackluster. Um, and I don't know why that is. Maybe it's just the way that it was showing of what the film is going to be about, or if if it was just trying to show the tone of uh, of the film supposedly being that or if it's just the story being presented uh, by this trailer that is that might be uh, the likely scenario but I, I mean I just don't I don't know but all I know is that this trailer was a bit lackluster for me uh, it didn't really impress me like the first two trailers did for me um, it didn't gave me an, like a huge epic moment uh, that the trailer that the previous trailers have shown to me and even if uh, even when there are, are some epic moments in this trailer they've been shown in one or two previous trailers um, and I don't know well, I I'm just kind of lukewarm about it basically so I don't know we'll just have to wait and see if the movie is good <laughs> And now, the last trailer that I will be reacting to in this fourth uh, four-part trailer reaction video is my reaction to the second official trailer for Creed 2. Uh, it's been released earlier today, I believe. So, because of that, I, uh, I had to put this one as the fourth trailer t uh, that I will react in this four Part, a part four trailer reaction. So, uh, without any uh, rambling, without any more rambling going on, let's react to this Creed Two second trailer, shall we? We don't do what we love, then we wouldn't exist. Rocky Balboa. Time, kid. Hmm. It's like nothing really matters to him right now. Including me. You gotta think real hard about this. Do you got people that need you now? I'm taking the fight. Victor Drago, son of Ivan Drago, who infamously killed Apollo Creed, appeared today to issue a challenge to Adonis Creed. Mm. Don't do this. I ain't got a choice. That's the same thing your father said, and he died right here in my hands. That kid was raised in hate. It's dangerous. He broke things in me that ain't never been fixed. It ain't worth it. It's not just us anymore, Dave. I want to rewrite history. If you want to fight this man, that's your business. But don't pretend this is about your father. Mm. This here is all about my wife, my kids, the life that I live. Through the night, I was his. It was right what I did. My ups and downs, my slips, my falls. The tribulation, my heart, my balls. This won't be the end of me. Or you. It can't be, because we're a team. Now you know what you're 
bei ihm vor. I'm really looking forward to it. You learn more about yourself. When I stepped in that ring, mm. it wasn't all about me. Creed 2. Nice. It's a pretty good trailer, I will say. Very good trailer. It is very impressive. I don't... I will say, again... <laughs> Me being brutally honest, uh, like I, but I always have been honest, and I always will continue to be honest, regardless of what m many people would say uh, in the comments section of my videos. But anyway, uh, I will say that the first official trailer, hmm, I would say the first official trailer is better than this trailer, only because it feels more emotional. It feels more powerful um and it feels more gravity um uh, like captivating in terms of you know a, a, the story supposedly revolving around adonis creed being uh, or accepting to be in a fight with um uh, ivan drago's son um victor drago um uh, and just and uh, but also having to deal with you know raising his family you know he you know being married to tessa thompson's character and also having a kid um and that, that is a pretty big deal to be uh as a boxer although i have uh, i'm not a boxer and i never boxed before uh but this trailer is giving me this is giving me a reminder of what it feels like to both have a family and be a boxer um, and, you know, it, it's a pretty tough thing to live with if you are a boxer, I would imagine, uh, I would imagine, wouldn't imagine, uh, what it feels like to be a boxer who has a family to take care of, oh, a wife and a kid, um, and just all that stuff. Um, and just, yeah, that's pretty, that, that sounds pretty tough to live with uh, in a life. Um, but anyway, uh, the, the, this trailer looks pretty cool. Uh, I like, I dug the trailer. I'm very much looking forward to it. And speaking of Creed slash Rocky, um, I'm planning on doing my review for Rocky Five as soon as I watch that film for the first time because I have not still not yet watched it. Um, uh, but I will once I'm through, you know. Uh, uploading this one uh, because uh, I recorded this video yet last night um, and I uploaded uh, today uh, just so in time because I didn't have enough time to actually both you know edit and upload it on YouTube in time before midnight um, but anyway that's that, that's besides the point the point is I like the second official trailer not as great as the first trailer, I will say. The first trailer really got me on the edge of my seat of what the movie's going to be, be about. But still, this second trailer looks pretty good. Uh, I dug it. Looking forward to Creed 2. And I'm going to be doing my review for Rocky V uh, tomorrow um, uh, once this video is up. Uh, so anyway, a pretty good trailer. Uh, I really would love to... I really like to see what... Adonis Creed and Rocky Balboa, uh, you know, Sylvester Stallone and Michael B. Jordan, both played out in the sequel to the first Creed film. So anyway, guys, this is my four-part trailer reaction. Uh, uh, me reacting to four trailers. The Rec uh, Ralph Breaks the Internet trailer number two. Uh, the uh, Bumblebee trailer number two. Um, the Fantastic Beasts the Crimes of Grindelwald final trailer, and the uh, Creed 2 a trailer number 2. And by the way, as soon as I'm done uploading this reaction, I will be uh, re uh, doing my reaction to the official trailer for X-Men Dark Phoenix. Uh, I will be doing that one. As uh, Like I already mentioned, I will also be doing my review for Rocky V. Um, 
And I have more videos to do in the upcoming days, so yeah, stay tuned here on this channel. I'm going to be very busy within this week. Pretty... Yes, it's going to be pretty busy, but, I'll, uh, but I feel qualified to actually do some very busy business. Video business, to say. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's it. If you guys enjoy my trailer reactions, please click the like button, and if you have already watched any of these trailers, comment below and let me know what you think of it. If you enjoy what you've seen here and you want to see future videos from me, please press up there to subscribe and turn on the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great week, Battle Squad, and as always, fight the good fight.